Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I've just been busy with a lot of stuff and maybe I'll make an uh, explanation of why I haven't been making as many YouTube videos in a future vlog or something like that, but let's just get straight into this video, which is by the title, How to Edit Concert Photography. Uh, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, decided to bless the YouTube community because I was editing some pictures anyway, so I decided why not, you know. And you might not know this about me, but I do take pictures of concerts, uh, you can find them on my website, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, I haven't talked about this in any of my other videos, this is my first video on concert photography, and yeah, you can find some of my work on my Instagram, but not a whole lot, uh, I'm, I'm not a concert niche page, so not all my work's there. And yeah, so let's just get started with this video. Uh, before we actually get started with the editing process, I just want to talk about like colors and like color theory, the color wheel, whatever. Uh, I'll pull a picture up, but basically you need to understand this picture a little bit, at least a little bit. Uh, you can like search YouTube explanations on it or download this picture. Uh, just Google color theory, this picture will probably come up. Uh, yeah, just like understanding like complementary colors, what colors look good together and over time, you'll develop an eye for it, but not everyone kind of knows what they're looking for at the start. And I think it's important to, when you're editing, uh, to know what the final outcome you want to be. So you might be messing around with the sliders and it might not look methodical, but if you have an end picture in your mind, I think that's the most important thing. So with concert photography, there's like a lot more leeway to work with colors and stuff because skin tones don't have to be skin tones. Uh, there's like unique, unique lights and yeah, you can mess around with it a bit more. Uh, lately, I've been playing with a lot of red and green, so let's just get started in Lightroom. So these pictures were taken of Earth Gang about like a month ago or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna be editing this picture, pretty sick picture if you ask me. Uh, but yeah. First things first, I'm gonna crop it to make it more interesting, uh, composition and all. Uh, I'm gonna press X to make it a vertical picture for Instagram, 4x5. And yeah. Rule of thirds, man. Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. And then, like I said, I've been messing with a lot of red and greens lately. I made presets, but I'm gonna walk through the whole process. So. I'm gonna mess with the basics first. I'm gonna make it a lot warmer to get a bit more red and then make the tint more green. It might not look red and green now, but later you'll see that this has a strong effect on the overall image. So, uh, let me put a little more. Hmm. Let's see, all the way. No, no, I don't think all the way. I think I'm gonna put it at negative 90 and then see this. I think that's good and then just do your basic adjustments this is how you see fit there's no uh, set rule for this this is how you like your pictures to look and then, uh, gonna mess with the tone curve I've been raising the blacks a lot higher lately and then adding some contrast back in there pretty basic s curve uh, gonna lower the highlights off there actually keep it as is it's pretty good right here and obviously your editing style varies from artist to artist and what uh, your subject is and I think Earth Gang is a more gritty kind of feel so I'm gonna add some clarity in there that's why I have this S curve as well kind of add some contrast in there maybe I might add some more yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good so I'm gonna deepen the shadows even more and then the next thing we're gonna do is go to color calibration and mess with the color calibration. So uh, I think I'm gonna put this over here. I kind of know what these do, so that's why I, I like. Um, it might not look right now, but I know it's gonna look right later. Like usually my colors look better when my blues are. Here towards this direction, towards aquas, whatever, and I'm seeing that this uh, pushes the reds more, so I'm gonna add more green, and then, uh, I don't want this too magenta, I don't want it too orange either, I think adding a little bit, like maybe seven, that's good. And then the next thing we're gonna do is mess with the HSL, so magentas all the way, much all the way. And then uh, you can see what that does. 
like having contrast between my luminance when it's very similar colors and they're probably like around the same area so in this case it's like around the face and jacket and it's very similar area but not everything's reading the same so I like to add a little bit of contrast so raising the magentas and lowering the reds because I like a deeper red as well so and raising the oranges make this even more is fine honestly and orange orange is fine too i don't want it like completely red and completely orange just a strong red and i mean red and green tone sorry and i'm gonna desaturate this a little bit i think it's still looking too magenta so i'm gonna add Like I said, it's a uh, red and green, so I'm gonna desaturate the purples. Just make sure like no other color is really dominant over the colors that you want in here. Yeah, I think that's good. saturation of the magenta so it looks way too magenta for my liking and I think I'm happy with it so far and this is where it really comes to fruition so I'm gonna add some greens into the shadows like pretty significant and that looks pretty good already and then this is telling me that I need to fade the blacks even higher highlights I'm gonna add some reds into their uh, red orangey color and yeah so I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, I might adjust the HSL a little bit more to make it more of a red or a greenish tone but overall I'm pretty satisfied I might desaturate this a little bit as well yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Uh, so that's how I edit my pictures. I try to go for complementary colors. Uh, I'm gonna go through another picture right quick. Before we can get to the next picture, I just realized I didn't show you guys how the white balance really shifts the overall red and green tones. And it might just seem random at that point, so I decided I'll show you guys how it really affects it. I deleted the Earth Gang picture, so I can't show you that. But I have created these red and green presets so I can just set that and I'm pretty happy with this, you know, uh, but as you can see, the split toning, red and green, is the majority of the effect and the white balance didn't do much even though I raised the temperature a lot and made the tint really green, but you can see if we go here, there's like a lot more magenta, a lot more red here there's a lot more greens and we want a balance between the greens and the reds so uh, if you decrease the temperature a lot more blue if you increase it a lot more reddish orangish tones which was what we were going for and yeah so the white balance does have a huge impact on the image even though at the beginning it didn't seem like it uh, last night I shot at Ben Staples show with Armani White and um, Buddy and yeah, buddy. Uh, so I was shooting.
for Armani, so he told me that he liked kind of like a yellow kind of aesthetic. So I made it's a bit different from what I usually do. So like I said, I usually go for complementary colors, but this is more of a yellow kind of tone. I think this is the best picture, but I used it in kind of like a GIF. So I'm just gonna walk through it. I'm not gonna edit it all over again, but I warmed it up to add more. Basic adjustments, lower the clarity because I think it fits more of his style. Uh, raise the blacks a little bit, deepen the shadows a little bit, and add that contrast back in there in the mid tones. I didn't want the highlights to be blown out, so I didn't mess with that. And then in the shadows, I added yellow and violet in the highlights. You might not even notice it in the highlights, but I just wanted to add some balance back in. These are complementary colors again, uh, just to like balance things out. Uh, sharpening uh, because I don't want the noise to be sharpened so you click alt and on the masking and drag it around to see what gets uh, sharpened and things that aren't sharpened are kind of like more out of focus so it makes it look more dreamy which was what I was going for over here and yeah the calibration just mess with it to see what looks uh, more right see this is more yellowish tone if you decrease the green primaries and yeah there's more yellow if you add to the blue primary so that's what I went for and this is more yellow singular color tone it's not completely yellow like I said I don't want it to be completely one color there's some oranges and reds in there obviously and but that overall tone I wanted it to be there so uh, this was how I edited that picture uh, so that's pretty much it so Go for complementary colors, focus on colors, um, and if you guys like this video, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If there is something that's confusing, let me know. Like I said, the process might not seem methodical, but if you have an end process, end image in 